The Motorcycle Monster is brought to you by the MRA. Whether it's motorcycle insurance, roadside assistance, or motorcycle training, the MRA can save you hundreds. Remember, help is on the way with MRA. West Palm has a few terrific bike builders. Cyril Hughes has been wowing the scene for years with his Art Deco look, and now newcomer Jerry Graves, sort of a newcomer, is knocking out the competition by taking the breath away with his long, high-tech choppers. We actually, we hand fabricate everything in-house. I don't send, the only thing I don't do in-house is uh, chrome and upholstery. Everything else is done right inside my shop. We do all our own paint, all our fabrication. Uh, we build all the frames in sheet metal. Uh, basically, you know, I, I build bikes from about 40 grand up to 100 grand, and I've got, I guess, 15 of them a year. We average, you know, between 12 and 15 bikes a year. I got started because I was a poor kid when I was like 17 years old, and I wanted something a little different than everybody else had. Figured I could probably cut it up and make it look the way it ought to look, or the way I felt it ought to look anyhow, you know. Uh, you know just a matter of chopping it up, cutting it, welding it until it looked right, you know, put it all back together, and the next thing you know, people are asking me for it. So, you know, I started doing it professionally, and you know, with the advent of all the television programs and things like that, that's done, that's done nothing but make my business huge. You know, and there's so much competition out there, it's amazing to me the amount of motorcycles and the, all, of the, all of the custom bikes that are coming in and flooding the market, you know, and people are still buying them. Right now, right now, big, big, tall choppers are hot. Um, everybody likes them. It seems like bigger is better. You know, the bigger you go, the better you must be. I don't, I don't know. I don't really understand that mentality, but it seems to be working for everybody, so I just kind of go with it. Um, I think that's going to die back. You know, eventually you're going to start to see a lot more low pro street bikes that can be really ridden hard. You know, for, for now, though, you know, like these, these giant choppers just seem to be the thing. Everybody seems to want, like I say, bigger is better. You know, if 10 inches stretch is good, then 14 must be wonderful, you know? You know, I kind of like when the bikes take on more of a cartoon presence, you know? It, it becomes a, uh, like a one-upsmanship, you know? I've got, I, I literally have like five customers that compete amongst each other. You know, they're good for one bike a year each, and it's like, they see what one guy's doing, they got to do a little better, a little more, a little taller, a little longer, a little more gold plating, a little more paint, you know? It's, uh, it's fun. I think things are going to tone down a little. Um, I think there, there are so many builders out there. I think you'll see a lot of guys that don't have a really good following are probably going to start dying off just a little bit. Um, you're going to see, I think, like I say, the bikes are going to get smaller. They're going to become a lot more rideable. These things are these things are an incredible amount of money, you know? They, like I say, my bikes range from forty to $100,000. Literally, these are bikes you, you can't take out, you know, and ride from here to, you know, New York. It's just not going to happen, you know. Um, I think people are going to look for things that are a little more rideable, a little more comfortable. Um, just one man's opinion, I don't know. I wake up every morning, pinch myself, wonder what's going on, you know. I can't hardly believe it. Different styles of bike or different budgets usually doesn't make much of a difference when it comes to garage art. It's one of those different strokes kind of things. 